Good morning, everybody. Frankie's in his spot, and so is Coco, riding to work via McDonald's. So here we go. So this afternoon, around 4 o'clock, I'm supposed to get my eyebrows done. So this just kind of started making me think, you know, as we get older, where do our eyebrows go? I don't know about you guys, but man, I wish I could have had time, a little more time this morning to find a photo of me when I was in 7th, 8th, ninth grade. My eyebrows were crazy. I had these big, huge eyebrows, which were not quite in style like they are now. And so we plucked them, right? We plucked the eyebrows like crazy. So I didn't really do it as much as, I remember my mom laying me down on the dining room table and plucking my eyebrows. Well, we didn't know anything about shaping, so they were pretty much plucked straight across. And I can't blame her because they probably grew kind of that way. I didn't have these beautiful arched eyebrows, you know, so jealous of. But so she would uh, clean them up for me best she could. And, and I guess over time, they just quit growing back in. So as you get older, it's like, you know, you I've, in the past, I've seen women who are older and they've got these drawn on bright colored eyebrows. You know, have you ever seen that and thought, man, what is the deal? Do they shave their eyebrows and then paint those back on? Well, the deal is they just quit growing. I don't know what it is. I guess at some point they go, hey, you don't want me here. I'm not coming back. I'm tired of drying. Clearly, this relationship's not working out. And so then when you need them, they're just gone. Most of the hair is just not there. So you can probably can see, uh, the sun's so bad this morning. You see a little bit. I have to kind of color them back in where they should be. But right about the time, I love technology and I loved living in 2019. Right about the time that I decided my eyebrows had just disappeared on me, I remember thinking, I gotta do something. Can they do eyebrow transplants? Can't they do something in this day and age about this? And right, literally about the time I started wondering that, I started to hear about this, uh, what do they call it, dermablading, this microblading, where they go in and do what they call a semi-permanent tattoo of little hair strokes where your eyebrows should be. And obviously, whatever hairs you have there, that's great. That makes them look, you know, more natural. Um, but they can do an incredible job of putting them back on, and they're semi-permanent because I had it done first, I would say, three years ago. And it's usually like a two-step process you go, and a few months later you go and have it touched back up anyway. So I'm um, really, oh, lash boost, I need to try that. So I'm gonna go this afternoon at four o'clock, and I'm gonna get my eyebrows uh, microbladed. So I warn you this because they look pretty crazy usually like the next day, because they're overly dark, really for the next week. So I'm gonna look a little Groucho Marx, as, as a friend of mine said the other day, you look a little Groucho Marx the first few days. So I'm warning y'all have these black eyebrows, but they won't stay. And then you get about, you know, 18 months to two years really out of them. I'm, I'm way overdue to where I don't have very much left. But I used to have to go to Austin, but we have someone now who comes highly recommended here in Fredericksburg doing the microblading. So I get to do it here. And I gotta tell you, we'll see how it goes today, but it hurts. It is. Yeah, a large black coffee, please. That's it. All right. Yeah, it is not pleasant. It hurts. And I think what hurts the most about it is the sound. It kind of sounds like they're using a pizza roller and crunching. I remember it sounded like they're crunching a crispy pizza when they're cutting through. It's not good. But I do like the results afterwards. So I started thinking, man, we ladies go through a lot. Am I right? Oh, look at that. Let's do this. I got a penny, y'all. That's good. There we, there we go. So yeah, it hurts. It's not pleasant. Nothing good about it except the result after the first week because you look ridiculous for a week, but then you look good. Isn't that right, Coco? Oh, she gets so excited when we get the money. She gets so excited. It's time to get the money, isn't it, Coco? Yes, it is. <laughs> that bright. Look at that. Well, you like your eye my eyebrows now because I have them all colored in. If I wash my face, you know, then there'd only be about a fourth of this much eyebrow on there. And that's the not good part. Um, so, yeah, I started thinking about all the things that we ladies go through. 15 cents is reaching. Thank you. And as y'all know, I got my nails done this last week. I didn't even do them the day I made my drive video and fussed about it so much. And I ran into somebody that watches the show, Miss Valerie, and she called me on the carpet. She goes, you were supposed to do these yesterday. Well, I did them on Saturday because I just couldn't even stand to do them on Friday. So anyway, I started thinking about what all we've got to do. We've got the nails, the toes. Thank you. Thank you. Oops, sorry, Coco. You're trying to get in a better position now. You face that way now. So we got to get our nails done, our toes done, our hair done. Yeah, guys have to get their hair cut, but most times they aren't really getting it highlighted and all the intricate things that we have to get done. Then I've got the spray tan that I get at the same place as the microblading and the uh, 
and the hair hair yeah so three things at once there so you got to get the spray tan and you've got to learn to be a pro with the spray tan because the first time you go get a spray tan you're gonna look crazy because why are you stopping out in the road dude oh there they go they're taking pictures okay um of mcdonald's out of wine so you got to be a pro at getting spray tan because the first time you come out and your hands are black or they're white because you did that wrong and you got a stripe or you let the shower cap come down here and you got a big white stripe on your face. I did that recently. Ugh. So you got to be a pro at that. Let's see what all else do we have to get done. Oh, this is probably my all time favorite um, is was getting a uh, hose. Yeah, at least we don't have to wear pantyhose anymore. That's the good thing. But probably the, uh, oh, what was I going to say? It was good. So, oh yeah, my favorite line. Y'all got to hear this. This is awesome. So I was going to Westlake Dermatology, it's been a while, and getting some shots in after some Botox. You can tell it's been too long. I can uh, I don't go regularly like I should. I should really have a better regimen of that. And I'll say up front, some people are for it, some people are against it. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. I don't care. As long as it makes you happy, it's all good. You're not hurting anybody. Um, and, and we know my whole theory is, again, I'm only middle-aged. I'm going to live to be 104, so I've got to maintain whatever I can because I don't want to live 50 more years old. You know, right? So I want to stay as youthful as I can. And really, I just want to look the way I feel because I feel 30. So I want to look the same way. But my favorite line ever. So I go in, I'm getting some Botox done. You know, first of all, it's painful, it's annoying, it's, it's what we have to go through if, if we wanted to stay younger looking. So I go to the counter and I'm writing the check, right? And it's a lot because anything like this is a lot. And my younger daughter, Celie, is with me at the time, and she was probably a junior in high school, maybe a senior, one of the two. She was a senior. So I took her with me, and she was standing there while I wrote the check. <laughs> and I said, she said, what? Typical Celie, you know, how much? And so I looked at her, I said, honey, getting old's expensive. She didn't miss a beat. She had the best line ever. ever. She goes, no, I'm pretty sure getting old is free. It's not getting old that's expensive. And I said, Man, that is such a classic. You know, she always has had the best sense of humor. So that's a great, that's a great point. Not getting old is expensive, painful, and time consuming. That's basically my, my twist on being a woman. We have to get our eyebrows tattooed on, our nails and toes done, spray tan, get our hair highlighted. If we choose Botox to keep down, at least, at least minimize the wrinkles for a little bit longer. I'm not, I'm pretty lucky anyway. If y'all saw that, uh, post of my mom's 90th birthday and that video she looks amazing and has never had anything like that done um, and has very very few wrinkles so I've got good genes anyway but so then the funny thing is I start thinking about guys how they don't have to do any of this to really look how they look and then I think about what is with guys of course they they lose the hair on top of their head but how do they start growing in these weird places like their ears what is the deal with old dudes and ear hair I can't do the ear hair I have been standing in a line at the airport and seeing a man ahead of me who's maybe 65 and he has this forest of hair an inch long sticking straight out from his ears and I'm just thinking how and his wife's standing right there I'm like can you not see this how are you letting him look like this that ear hair is horrible <laughs> I could not I could not make eye contact with this man so Wes knows he gets of course he's naturally from young age of blonde anyway so he doesn't get a lot of really dark bad hair but if he has two or three little hairs sticking out of his ear man he sees me coming with the tweezers and he said be sure and let y'all know that he considers it borderline domestic abuse but I'm like you're not gonna become an old man with ear hair that is just gross and I know you took far too bare uh, too good a care of yourself to want to have hair hanging out of your ear and he had this hair on his neck the other day, but that was just missing on shaving. He goes, what's that? It looks gray, and it's like an inch long. I was like, yeah, it's catching a light just right. I got to go get that hair, too. <laughs> so I don't know. At least, ladies, I don't think we ever develop ear hair. But, ladies, if you if you would, just so the rest of us who have to see the men, please do your best. Use your womanly wiles to charm the men to let you remove the thick ear hair coming out of there. Because I can't even look at them. That's just the worst to me. Ear hair is no good. So we have our problems adding things back while with them we're spending our time removing some things. But uh, overall, I, I can't complain. And I shouldn't complain anyway because obviously if you like to be 100% granola, all natural, I think that's great too. But I'm just a little more high maintenance than that because I want to try to keep going what I got as long as I do. And the truth is, it's a weird thing. I look better than I did at 30. I look better than I did at 25. I might have been younger then. But I really do. I think we have more 
tools at our disposal. We know how to do things that we didn't used to know how to do. And I think that's an amazing time to live. So if you choose to, then just just know uh, that's at least my way. And I'm getting into a bad coverage zone. I drive really slow into the uh, into the parking lot of my office because it starts saying no service. But I thought this was a rant that just had to be said because... You know, we ladies are going through a lot. From head to toe, we got the dye, we got the eyebrows, the microblading. Remember, tomorrow, I, as soon as my appointment goes through today at 4 o'clock, I'm going to show up looking a little Groucho Marx, a little crazy. Um, but that's just the way it is. You know, we're having to wax things off and add things back. But I think in the long run, the result is worth it. So I'm not complaining. I'm really glad we have these options. Oh, and the teeth. I mean, obviously... I got veneer, so I really made a big investment. But at the very least, we should be wearing whitening strips if we want to have a lighter smile. That didn't exist 50 years ago, 25 years ago. We just had to deal with it. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, I don't really mind getting it done. Um, Frank and Beans, as it is, they get groomed every two weeks. They have a groomer, Caroline, who comes to the office, takes them out and shampoos them, and makes sure they're all fresh and clean, right, Beans? Because you have to remain the beautiful bean you are.